Hi, this is Helen from HelenLindop.com, and I'm going to take you through something that really confuses my clients, which is the difference between landing pages and embedded forms in MailerLite. So I thought if my clients get confused and people I speak to get confused, I'm sure there are plenty of other people out there who are also confused. So um, if that describes you, then stay tuned. I'll take you through it just now. So let's start off by looking at an embedded form and a landing page so we can see the differences. Okay, so if I go to my own website, um, you've got here just a page on my website, just an ordinary page on my website. And then in there, there's um, a little opt-in box. So you put in your name and your email address, hit the button, and then you are subscribed to my mailing list. And the way that's set up is there's a little bit of code that's copied and pasted into that web page on my website that then um, adds you to my mailing list when you put your details in and hit the button. So to set that up, you need to a have a website, <laughs> um, b you need to know how to copy and paste some code into it. Um, so those are two key things. And see, you need to have the confidence to do that and to know that you're not going to mess anything up. Um, now, if you manage your own website, maybe you've got WordPress, something like that, and you feel quite confident with that, that's no big deal. You can do that without too many problems. And that's my situation. I can go into my website, change it, update it, and feel fairly confident. If I do make a mistake, I can sort myself out. Now, that isn't the case for everybody. Some people, um, and this may well be you, you have a web designer and only your web designer or maybe your VA manages your website. You don't go in, um, you don't know how to set up a page like that and copy and paste the code. Or if you have an idea how to do it, you don't want to do that. Do it because you aren't confident that you can manage it yourself. You aren't confident that you can get out of trouble if you make any mistakes. And you'd rather just leave it to the professional. Nothing wrong with that. Um, sometimes also uh, you know how to do all that, but you just want a really quick page that you can just uh, throw up online for um, a quick campaign. Maybe um, you're promoting something on the run up to Christmas, let's say. You just want a really quick landing page that you can set up without having to mess about with your website. OK, so if that's the situation, you for whatever reason, you don't want to be doing this on your website. Uh, MailerLite provides landing pages. So let's have a look at one of those. And this is one that I've just created from a MailerLite template. So this isn't my own work. I've really just um, created a page and put the template on. So you've got um, the opt-in box there. They put your email address in there, hit the button there, and then various other things to make that opt-in um, more attractive. This particular one is, is for a sneak peek of a book, but you can have a variety of different ones if you want to. Um, now, you can see a big difference there is that that is provided by MailerLite. You don't even need a website to do this. This page is 100% in MailerLite. Um, you don't have to mess with your website. You don't even need a website if you don't want to. Um, so the, the big difference really here is that um, on my website with the embedded form, I've got my domain name, HelenLindop.com. So it's very obvious to anybody visiting that this is my website. If you use a MailerLite landing page, you get subscribepage.com slash whatever you want to call it, um, which is... Absolutely fine. Um, ideally, you want it to look like it's an integral part of your website for branding purposes, but you've got to trade that off against the, the sort of inconvenience of, of setting it up on your own website. Um, so it depends which way you want to go. You can use a custom uh, domain name for that. So you could buy a domain name and use it for your MailerLite landing pages. You can't use the same domain name as your main site. You need to use a different one. So um, I could have HelenLindop.com for my main site and HelenLindopsPages.com, for example, for my landing pages if I wanted to do that. Um, I'll put a link below this video on how to do that. 
so if you keep in mind that we've got two different things that can serve the same purpose, but they work in two different ways. We've got landing pages um, in MailerLite and you've got embedded forms on your website, two separate things. OK, let's go and have a look at how we set those up. If I go into MailerLite, this is um, yeah, the main dashboard that you get. If we want to do a landing page, we go to Sites, Create Landing Page, give it a name. OK, those are my um, existing subscriber groups. So um, I've got a series of groups that I can have broken down my main list into subsections. So it might be that um, if this is a page that I'm going to use to deliver the first couple of chapters of my book, I might to want to set up a group which will separate those people out from the rest of the people on my list. I can actually let's add a new group. Let's call it um, book group create. So I need to give that a click. I don't want to add them to that one after all. Click on that. Save and continue. And then this is where you can choose your template. That's the book template that I had before. Um, but you've got a variety of different ones. Now you can change the colors and the images so you're not stuck with those. But this is just a shortcut to creating a complete landing page by yourself. Uh, so we're using the book as an example, aren't we? So you can preview it, but let's select. We've already seen it. So here's that page that you'll be familiar with from before. And you can change any of it, really. So I could change that logo if I wanted to. You just click in the boxes and change the text. Just change it there. And um, let's say I want change the button text. So that could be maybe I want get first chapter. OK, and then this is what the button does. So once you've put in your email address here and click that button, it goes to the success page to say success. You have opted into this list or probably worded better than that, of course. Let's save that. Um, I'm that's not me, obviously. I'm not Janet. I would change the photo. Um, but you can see how that works. We just click there um, and you can delete that image and then upload an image of you and um, change the text just here as well. There we go. Shall we pretend that's me? That's not me, but I'll pretend that's me. There we go. OK, right. The success page, that's the landing page just here. We've been looking at the success page. Um, as I said, says thank you. Your book chapter is on its way. Um, you can change that text if you want to. And then if we save and publish that. And you can see that that's just given me a series of letters and numbers for the URL. So I'll change that to Helen's book page, assuming nobody else on MailerLite has a page called Helen's book page. The few settings there we'll leave for now and we'll just save and continue. Right, so we can then that's the URL for that page. If I copy that and then paste that, that page is now live online and anyone I can share that page, share that URL, which will share the page. I can anybody who puts their email address in that box and hits get first chapter will be added to that group called uh, book group. And then I can start sending emails to just that book group um, as separate from any other groups or lists of subscribers that I may already have. So you can see, obviously, I could have done a lot more formatting on that if I'd wanted to. But you can see how quickly you can get a landing page set up. And the bonus being you don't have to mess around with your own website. You can just put up a uh, put up a landing page incredibly quickly. So let's have a look at the alternative, which is to use an embedded form on your website. And 
let's go back to this time we're going to forms so it was sites last time we're going to forms this time create i'll call that book form this time and once again it asks you which group you want the subscribers that subscribe through this form to be put into so let's similar situation we'll put them in book group Okay, so it's much simpler this time. We've got um, a dead simple form just there. So we don't want newsletter, we want um, get the oops, first chapter of my book. Oops, can't spell. There we go. And then like that, and then Maybe we don't want subscribe, maybe we want um, send, something like that. Save. Okay, and then we can change the background color if we want to. Um, that might be fine though, let's go to next. And then at the bottom, you've got some code that you can copy and paste into your website. I'm not going to go into too much depth on this because um, either you will know what to do with that code or you won't. And that's not really part of this tutorial. Um, but if we go to HTML code, for most people, if you copy that code to clipboard and then go to your website and go to a page where you can paste in HTML, that is very basically the process that you need to follow and then that will create a form similar to the one I showed you on my website that was done slightly differently but it will give you a rough idea um, you copy and paste the html onto the page on your website and it will give you a form a little bit like that obviously this one looks slightly different but uh, that's the general idea but you may be in a situation where you just want to copy and paste that code and send it to your web designer and your web designer will do it for you. So if you're looking at that code and thinking, I really don't know what to do, talk to whoever has set up your website for you um, or just use a landing page. There's no problem in using a landing page. I think it's really all about what you feel comfortable and confident with. And then once you've got it started, you can always look to learning more and getting more knowledge later if you want to. Quite often, you don't need to learn anymore. The landing page is, is all you'll ever need. So I think that the key thing is to, to dive in in a way that you feel comfortable with and just build on that over time. Thanks for listening. Um, if you found this helpful, please do check out the rest of the videos on my YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.